to win your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Walk a wine, be ya. Mutu mata so o. Baba, ya, ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame, you will run away. GCK Gospel to every creature. and brothers Jesus the Savior there is no another salvation from yonder since chains break us under Jesus salvation is free you don't need to pay all of your shame you will roll away oh hey Jesus salvation is free you don't need to pay all of your shame you will roll away is for you to need to pay the you might have feel there is grace today hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. there is healing deliverance freedom from boats of satan oh yeah just in case yes so bring your case come on everybody take your place come and experience for me saving grace no matter your color no matter your race Mama, papa, they come. Walk a wine, be ya. Mutu mata so o. Baba, ya, ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame, you will run away. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, hey. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from moods of Satan. The gospel to every creature. GCK Gospel to every creature Something great from precedented something you never saw before is coming upon your life Forgiveness I have the freedom I have, the fullness by faith in Christ tonight. We're shouting, we're praising the Lord. He will fulfill our expectation in Jesus' name. 
Something is going on now. Cancer is going away now on you. Leukemia, hymia, everything is appearing now globally. Manifest the power that cannot fail. Lord, effect it right now. Demonstrate it right now. Manifest it in every life right now. Confirm the miracle power in everyone. Set everyone free. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Psalm 2, in verse 8, ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance, and the utmost part of the eighth for thy possession. We are going to pray that this evening, as men and women who have not experienced the power of Calvary comes into this ground this evening, the Lord will open their understanding. And not only that, they will understand the gospel, they will believe the gospel, they have been saved, they will live here saved in Jesus' name. Open your mouth once again and pray for them. In Jesus' name we pray. In Psalm 114, in verse 1, the Bible says, When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. They see saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. In verse 6, ye mountains, that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. We are going to pray that as many as un are under any kind of bondage, tonight they are going out in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. No bondage will remain. No bondage will remain. No bondage will remain. Every bondage, the bondage of sin, the bondage of satanic oppression, the bondage of sicknesses, they are going tonight, this final night of the program, they are going. Talk to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You can do better than that. The Bible says the mountains keep like rams. 
and the little heels like lambs. We are going to tell the Lord again that practically tonight, your mountain will skip. That literally something will fly out of your life. That this night will be a special night where miracles will rain like in abundance to all the participants here. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray for our general superintendents. In Luke chapter 21, in verse 15, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. We are going to pray that the anointing will get to the zenith tonight. That no force, no power, no sickness, no disease will be able to resist the decree of the man of God in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. That the Lord will be with his mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. In Ephesians chapter 6, in verse 19, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. We are going to ask for our pastor once again that the Lord, through his spirit, will be upon him and he will make known tonight the mystery of the gospel. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That that will be done today in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Talk to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you have prayed, say a better amen this evening. We want to appeal to our brethren who were interviewed, but you have no opportunity to give your testimony before today that our brethren are waiting for you at the white canopy stand by my left-hand side. So you move there. God has done something for you. At this program, but you now you are not given opportunity to testify. You have that golden opportunity this evening to do so, and so you move gently to where they are, and you'll be testify, and you'll be test, uh, you'll be interviewed, and at the end, you will give your testimony to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Let's pray together now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless your name. Thank you so much for thinking about us and bringing this program to us. We exalt you. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. We thank you for our generous pretendant that you have strengthened all through this program. And we are trusting more of your strength upon him tonight in Jesus' name. 
We are asking that you give him a mouth, that no power, no force will be able to resist in Jesus' name. That tonight there will be salvation. There will be deliverances. There will be miracles. Like the rain and the dew from heaven upon all participants in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we believe you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Falling out night, amen. Amen. I say final night, amen. Amen. Final night, amen. Amen. God will fill you to overflow tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.
the glory of God. Freedom is 
Freedom is mine. 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 In Jesus' name. Freedom is mine. Freedom is yours. 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 Freedom is mine. Freedom is mine. Freedom is mine. Freedom is mine. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Supernatural freedom is coming upon you tonight. It's coming upon you tonight.
If you have been delivered, give me a resounding amen. Remember, this is the last night. Everybody say, last night. <laughs> this night is night of celebration. You will celebrate divine freedom. You will celebrate your salvation, your healing, your deliverance, your miracles. Don't worry, don't, be, don't mind of what is happening now. That's a sign of miracle. That is how miracle will take place tonight. It will shower. It will rain upon us. It will drench us. This is night of miracle. In Psalm 50, verse 14, the Bible says, Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. This night, we are going to offer thanksgiving to the Lord. We are going to pay vow of praises and worship to the Lord because of what the Lord has done in this crusade. In fact, our testimony will be like what is written in Mark chapter 7, verse 33. And we are beyond measure astonished, saying he had done all things well. Truly, in this crusade, the Lord has done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Tonight, we are going to offer unto God worship, praise, thanksgiving. Even after the message administration, you will pay your vow of thanksgiving to God. But now, let's open them out and start worshiping God. Just open your mouth and give God thanksgiving. Offer praise to the Lord. Worship the Lord. Adore him. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the worship. Open your mouth and let God hear you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Father, we thank you for what you have done. Thank you for the manifestation of your power. We can see the sign that tonight will be the greatest night. Because you open heaven. As the rain is coming, your miracle will come, your blessing will come, healing will come, deliverance will come. In Jesus' name. We thank you for our Father in the Lord, the convener of GCK. You have empowered him. You have loaded him. And tonight, you will use him to bring succor to the whole world in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Can you turn to page three of your program pamphlet? Page three. No other plea. My faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. I trust the ever-living one. His wounds for me shall plead. Enough for me that Jesus says, this earth my fear and doubt. A sinful soul, I come to him. He will never cast me out. My heart is leaning on the word, the written word of God. Salvation by my Savior's name, salvation through his blood. My great physician heals the sick, the lost he came to save. For me, his precious blood he shed. For me, his love he gave. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me.
As to the next Sunday, we shall go to the Lord in prayer. Tonight is the grand finale of this great program. So great that many lives were touched. We receive salvation. We receive sanctification. We receive healing. We receive miracles. Testimonies almost all over abounded in this program. God is glorified in his name. And this is a great event. It's event. And as you come, as you come to the climax of it, just to let out. Tonight is tonight. Have faith in God. Believe that what is remaining in your life, God is ready to perfect it. Can I hear a shout? Amen. Shout a louder Amen. In Luke chapter 1, it's about 74 through about 75. The scripture says that he will grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies, my servant, without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Not just for a week, not just for a month, not just for a day, but all the days of your life. You are going to pray. Open your mouth and pray. We want to pray for the Christian body. Glorify him. That they will walk in holiness. They will stand in holiness. They will do the will of God. They will serve God in the fear. Serve God in the fear of the Lord. In righteousness. In holiness. All the days of their life. The every day of your life, you will come things in the path of the Lord. You will not delay. You will not look back. That every day of your life, you will stand firm in the way of the kingdom. You will do what is right in your office, in the office, in your business, in your career, anywhere you are. You will do that which is needful. In Jesus' name we pray. In Luke chapter 12, in verse 40, the scripture says, Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh in the hour when he is not. The word of God must be accomplished. We live in an age that many of the time predictions have come to pass. And some are seen in the open to come to pass. But you need to be ready. I need to be ready. We are going to pray that the church go by it. That they will prepare for the coming of the Lord. They will not miss the rapture. They will not miss the blessings of God. The very way you are, you are prepared. You are ready like a bride. That's why the Bible says, remember Lord's wife. She came out of Egypt, out of Sodom and Gomorrah, but on the way, she missed it. You will not miss it. Pray for your life that nothing will truncate the blessings of God in your life. You will not backslide. You will not go back to the appearance to the old path. You will thank God. The Bible says, contend him for the faith. You will live to contend with all those things that are contrary. 
as you will endear your life unto the Lord, you will contend for the faith. The future of the faith, remember Noah. Noah preached to them, but they procrastinated. They were adamant until the flood came, but they missed it. Don't miss it. Let's pray for the church. Open your mind, even yourself. Pray for your personal life that will be counted in worthy. Counted in worthy to partake in that glorious event. And you will never miss it. Come what may, you will remain standing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can I hear you shout? Amen. Alpha location. Amen. Amen. Finally, we are going to pray for the man of God. Our Father in the Lord is the governor of the GCC. The general superintendent of Deepak Christian Ministry. Pastor Dr. Tobias Kumi. Not only for him, we are going to pray for our mother that the Lord will sustain them. The ministry that God has given to them will grow, keep growing in leaps and bounds. Their ministry will touch the lives of people. In Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 25, the Bible says, Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And as thy days, so shall thy strength be. That God, we grant our pastor long life. God will sustain him. God will, will renew his strength. God will uphold him. Open your mouth. Pray. Talk to the Lord. As the Spirit goes, it is answering our prayer. That God will quicken him. In the places where this ministry, the word of God has not reached to, through the media, through this ministry, lives are going to be touched. That God will hold it. That God will strengthen it. That God will perfect that circumstances. That this ministry, as it's such a life, building all the believers. Nobody will be left behind. And we are also going to pray for fellow ministers that the Lord will sustain them. All through this program, God has touched the lives of men and women, men in the world, that the Lord will keep them standing. The Lord has answered our prayers. The Lord has answered our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this great event. Today is climax. The grand finale of this magnanimous program. And no doubt, right from the beginning, the one, two, three, four, five. And today the last day, you have done tremendous things, many wonderful things. And people can attest to what you did all over the world. But we pray that these miracles of salvation, these miracles of holiness, of right living, of healing, Lord, it will never diminish. The people that have experienced it, they will grow from strength to strength. You will bless the church globally. The church will be steadfast and unmovable. Father, as we look forward to the coming of the Lord, none of us will be left behind. Pray that God will establish your children. They will live for you and contend for the faith. We trust you because they are in control. Thank you for your talent. Our pastor continue to use it, continue to uphold it. That lives that have been taught in this program, they will be consistent in their work with you. 
Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. It's yes. Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let the people of God shout, Amen. Amen. This physical rain is a reflection of spiritual rain that is falling on you. That is going to fall on you today. Whatsoever your needs are today, God will grant it to you. Amen. You might be saying, what has a beginning has an end. That's not absolute. It's applicable in some cases. This program started on Thursday. It's ending today. But your blessing is not ending today. Tell yourself, my blessing is not ending today. It shall be so. For those of us who gave our lives to the Lord, remember eternal life is conditional. You got eternal life because you turned away from sin and you gave your life to Jesus. Therefore, make sure by the grace of God, you continue with God. You will continue with God. Amen. Now, to continue with God, number one, obedience to his word. That is the reason why on the 2nd of July, by the grace of God, which is 2nd of July, which is on a Sunday, there will be convert rally. We are all the converts of this program globally. We'll be meeting at the designated location. For this alpha location, we are meeting at Rumudara, East West Road here. This very location at the hall there, we'll be meeting Thierry. PM, 2nd July 2023, we'll be meeting by the grace of God. Why there will be water baptism for all converts, all those who gave their lives to the Lord, who have not been baptized in past GCK and even this present one. The water baptism is going to be second Saturday, which is 8th of July, 8th of July, 2023. For here, we are meeting here also at the Alpha location. Other locations, globally, they tell you where you will be baptized by the grace of God. Then, apart from that, all past and present GCK crusade and ministers' conference messages preached by the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyim, are available in flash drives and SD card formats. The messages are also available for download in mobile devices. For audience online, your convert rally will be at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Sunday, July 2nd, 2023. God bless you all. We now bring you choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world. The crowd was great, but she knew she had to reach him. 
you say that is your head in Jesus' name. We pray that as you go through this journey, let your angels encamp and about us in Jesus' name. Take us safely to our destinations in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Santos. Introduction. Tornado. Introduction. Stone. Introduction. Most of all. Introduction. Rihanna. <clears throat> Your free announcement. This bus is heading to the canal. Canal? You have been kidnapped. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. All of them react the same way when you tell them that they have been kidnapped. <laughs> and after all, after all the Jesus, Jesus, they Jesus. end up being killed. Oh. Don't worry, we'll take good care of you. All we need is the mula. 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 That's the point. Yeah. No problem. Mm. But you know what? Let's let's take it to the boss first. A boss is waiting to see. His security all around. And we see violence all around. And it appears, what are we going to do? Because there is restlessness everywhere. But the Lord will give you rest. In your heart, in your soul, there will be peace. When it appears there's trouble there, and you have to go through that place. That's the only road that gets you to where you are going. The angel of God will go before you. You will not panic. There will be no restlessness in your spirit. That's good. Calm down, calm down. We are not evil men. We just need to survive. You understand? And with your full cooperation, you'll be out of here in a moment from now. In no time. Yeah. Please, sir, let me go. I am the only child of my parents. <laughs> Beautiful! Santos, this is a very good market. She is the only Which child I of her. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, my name is King. Yeah, call your parents and let them know you are with us. No, I cannot call. And why is that? It's obvious that they can't afford your ransom. It will only put them under pressure, which will affect their health. <coughs> Young lady, you only die in our canal without a trace or rescue. That was the same thing King Nebuchadnezzar said. Who is King Nebuchadnezzar? He's the king of Babylon. Oh, you mean a king like myself? Well, let me tell you something. Maybe I should take you to the backyard for you to see dead bodies of people like yourself. I think that is necessary so that she will know the kind of canal that she is in. Good. It is not necessary. You only die in our canal. Daniel did not die in the lion's den. Then I cannot die here. Santos. Yes, King. 
Where did you pick her from? From the street. She was going to school and no one runs. From the streets? Yeah. survive the lion's den. How? How? I don't I don't get this. But King is But King I, I get out. King get out. Nonsense. Hey! Hey, take that thing away from that place! Take it away! Huh? What's that? Is that your charm? Charm? Well, everyone must have something to fall back upon in any situation. It is our women mirror in church. Women mirror? Let's leave that aside. Can we talk about Daniel? Who is Daniel? Hey, don't play pranks on me. The same Daniel you were talking to me about that was thrown into the lion's den and um, nothing happened to him. Were the lions sick? Were they not hungry? The lions were hungry lions. But hungry lions become sick and harmless when they face the children of the lion of the tribe of Judah. So what happened? They were incapacitated. The angels shut their mouths. They could not harm him. Just as you lions here cannot harm me. Lions here? Where are the lions? You people are the lions. I am Daniel and I cannot be armed. So what happened next? When the king discovered that the lions could not harm him, they released him and not a single scratch was found on him. Tornados. King. I want you to let her go. Release her and ensure not even a single scratch is found on her. I knew it. My father told me that you are not real. You are just a shadow. Understand, it's not the valley of death. It's the valley of the shadow of death. You know the difference? The shadow of a sword cannot kill. The shadow of a gun cannot kill. The shadow of an enemy can do nothing. The shadow, after all, you have your shadow. And sometimes, as you are walking, your shadow falls on another person. Not nothing to that person, your shadow. The shadow of a boxer. The shadow of a wrestler. The shadow of an evil person. The shadow of witches and wizards. The shadow of all those people on earth is only their shadow. The Lord will not allow their power to come near you. But the Lord wants you to see that he's by your side and he's protecting you. That's why he makes you to see the shadow. And then you say, praise the Lord is the shadow of a lion. Praise the Lord is the picture of an animal. Praise the Lord is the shadow of the picture of an injurious thing. Only the shadow you will see. Just a shadow. Yes. I agree. Please take care of me. Shut up! Don't, don't shut them up. Let me introduce them to Jesus, the only deliverer who can deliver you. 
from any day without a scratch. Kneel and say after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you today with my load of sin and guilt. Have mercy upon me. Cleanse me with your precious blood. Help me to walk in your path. Thank you, Jesus, for you have answered us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I want to say this. The essence of bringing in the drama is not to entertain us. No. It is to awaken our consciousness. Our conscience and also to drive the message of the man of God home. If you look at this lady, because she's standing for the Lord, preaching the gospel, lifting up Jesus, and that's why when she had problems, Jesus was there to defend her. The question is, when you go out, do you hide your identity as a Christian? Do you preach the gospel? Do you lift up the name of the Lord? Are you standing for the Lord? Take a decision from this moment that as you live here, you will lift up Christ. And once you lift up Christ, Christ will fight for you in Jesus' name. We are going to listen to testimonies of the great things God is doing in the ministry of our Father in the Lord. As you listen, the Lord will bless your soul and also give you your own testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Sir Joy Goswee. By God's grace, I'm saved. I want to testify what the Lord did for me. I gave birth to this baby on 13th February this year. Then on 14th afternoon, by 12 noon, she started having conversion. So at that point, we were confused. The doctor referred us to a specialist. When we got there, there was no solution. Then we were still praying, waiting on the Lord, trying all we could, but there was no solution. Then at the end, I still went to um, hospital. The, the medical doctor gave me a list of what to do and referred me to another medical doctor. At the end of the day, and that day was the, uh, on Thursday, when GS was to have a program at Togo. So at that point, I, 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 was, I was just confused. I said, what do I do? I said, God, you have not changed because I know you are God. You are, you, you, you are, you, you are God, and you are God, and you still be God. So at that point in time, I was just waiting, waiting for, for, for the crusade to, to commence. I was at Omoko, Choba, but I'm of Mwadaya in Faith District. So what, what, when I, when, I, when I entered the arena, something in me just told me that you would have taken a photograph of this girl. Because for, for one week, she has, not, she has not slept, she has not talked, she has not sucked, and she, 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 she has not cried. So I, 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 took, I took this report, and when GS came up, I lifted it up. I said, God, today is the day of this girl's deliverance. You will do something unique in her life. And while GS came up, while he gave the topic, he said, internal life for all, abundant life for all, uh, all creatures. I said, yes, she, this girl is God's creature. And today will be the day of our deliverance. I lifted up the report of the doctor, and I asked the Lord to write his own. And lo and behold, I want to tell you that this girl was made whole. That same day, she slept, and in the next morning, she slept till 11 o'clock in the morning. I was the one that woke her up. This is somebody that at night, she doesn't sleep. You can see the agony. You can see the pain. And when this pain comes upon her, she, her color will change. She white, you know, red, blue. I can't even explain. I'm just cutting it.
morning shone. I want to thank the Lord for what the Lord did. Right from Togo, the light of God shone, and God delivered this girl. And tonight, that God will deliver you. No matter the rain, the rain cannot stop your miracle. Just hook up onto him. Have your faith, and tonight, you receive your miracle. Thank you. My name is Dr. Alfred Onwa, a medical practitioner. The baby, Joy God's will, had neonatal septicemia with meningitis. And it has lasted for a while. But after the prayer of the man of God, a pastor, Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, the whole symptom of septicemia vanished away, and the child became very, very healthy. The next testifier, Edmund Gladys has a wonderful story of the touch of God on her life. Praise the Lord. My name is Edmond Gladys. I am from Elios District, Elios Group, Origwe O District, Potoko Region, South South Nigeria. I had asthma, ulcer. These two things have been worrying me for the past almost a year now. Uh, so we visited a medical personnel and she placed me on drugs. At some point, if I don't eat early, I also have a stomach bite and it's, the pain is so excruciating. But on Thursday, my asthma drugs finished. I said, God, what will I do now? And I'm going to crusade. I just shrugged the thoughts and came here on that Friday morning. Reaching here, rain was falling just as it's falling now.